where it seldom sell for large amount of money. This dime is a big exception, 1950 Rosewood dime, ladies and gentlemen, graded as PR69 Ultra Cameo by PCGS, which indicates that it is in nearly perfect condition with deep mirror-like fields and sharp, frosted devices. The Ultra Cameo designation further signifies a high level of contrast between the mirrored fields and the frosted devices. The Mint resumed striking proof sets in 1950 after a pause for World War II and post-war recovery. No finer 1950 dime proofs are certified than these blazing white, high contrast example. Richly frosted motifs sit on brilliant, flawlessly mirrored silver fields. It was sold for $16,800 at Heritage Auctions. Here is 1923s Mercury Dime in Mint State 66 with full bands. Dime production at the San Francisco Mint amounted to over 6.4 million pieces in 1923. And attrition through circulation was high beginning during the economic boom of the Roaring Twenties. The 1923s is a scarce even in very fine and extremely fine conditions. And it is rare in the finest Mint State grades as here. Pretty champagne gold iridescence engage the reverse as well as obverse periphery. The satin mint luster throughout with a sharply executed strike and exceptionally well preserved surfaces. It was sold for $15,600 at Stax Bowers auction. Moving on with his attractively tall 1966 Jefferson nickel, graded in mint state 66 with full steps. Full steps designation indicates that the coin has fully struck steps on the Monticello building on reverse. While the 1966 Jefferson nickel is not considered a rare, finding one in MS66 with full steps can be challenging, making it a desirable addition to any collection. This highly elusive specimen ended up selling for $9,568.12 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. This is Brown 1917 Lincoln Sand with double die of verse, graded in mint state 63 by PCGS. The 1917 FS101 is one of the most pronounced double die of verse varieties in Lincoln Sand series, with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in motto. Despite the dramatic doubling, this variety remained undescribed until 60 years later, in 1977, by which time most coins had seen they have fair share of circulation. The present coin has softly frosted surfaces, which are richly and originally toned in antique copper rows. It was sold for eight to $400 at Stax Bowers auction. Here is 1944D Washington Quarter in Mint State 68. The 1944D Washington Quarter is a coin that was minted in 1944 at the Denver Mint. Mint State 68 refers to a grade of the coin which is measure of its condition. This means that the coin is in exceptional condition with no visible wear or scratch and a very sharp strike. MS68 specimens are considered rare and are highly sought after by collectors. This gem was sold on April 18, 2023 for $2,040 at Heritage Auctions. And this is 1909 Wheat Penny with S over horizontal S repunched mint mark. S1502 is a perennially popular repunched meat mark variety from the premier year of the Lincoln Scent series, represented here by a conditionally rare premium gem. Beautiful light rose surfaces are fully frosted in finish with razor sharp striking detail and virtually pristine surfaces. It was sold for $4,200 on March 23, 2023 at Stax Bowers Auction. Thanks for watching guys, your likes and subscriptions are highly appreciated, see you in the next